St. Mark's United Methodist Church in Lima has a new outreach center designed to give more than a handout, but rather a hand up. Dancy's with the director of the center who shares the heart behind the program and how it may help someone you know. Well, Jesse Hiddle joins me now, and Jesse is a member of St. Mark's United Methodist Church in Lima. And you have had um, quite a project uh, laid on your heart. And um, I am so excited for you to share your story with us because I think this has happened to several people, and um, maybe they've been afraid to actually admit to how their projects and how their missions have developed. So I'm so glad you could join us. I'm glad to be here. Uh, it started about back in April. I had a hysterectomy, went wrong. I was put on my back for, and matter of fact, I'm still going through it at this present time. It's been seven months, but in that meantime, I couldn't sleep. It was a week. God would not let me sleep, and I'm on pain medication, and you should be sleeping. Yeah. And I can't sleep, and every time I tried to sleep, he would say another idea in my head of how to help people. And after a week, I had enough, and I went into my pastor, and I said, you gotta help me, I need some sleep. And he said, we need to help, and the whole congregation took a leap of faith, and it has just grown. It's doubled its numbers. We opened up the SMC Resource Center. And SMC stands for? St. Mark's Community okay. Resource Center. It is for the whole community, all ages, races, genders. We don't care, just come in. We um, offer a hand up, not a handout. Um, we came to the realization after meetings of discussing how we wanted to help, was anybody can hand out that can of food. Mm -hmm. Once that can of food is gone, the problem still exists. That's true. We got to get to the root of the problem and we have to change situations so that we can change lives. Mm -hmm. um, Maslow had a theory that, you know, if you don't meet somebody's basic needs, you can't meet any of their other needs, whether it's love, spiritual, any of it. Mm -hmm. So we try to meet the basic needs and above and beyond. So how do you, um, how do you let people know? Obviously you're here talking yes. about it. Um, is it a word of mouth kind of thing that you were hoping to reach those who are in greatest need? Um, yes, word of mouth. We do social media. We have been, been on the radio. We're out there constantly, flyers, sending things to other churches. I want to connect with other churches, other resources. I think in today's society, churches have gotten so small and they can't do all the big things that they used to do all the years, but together we can. Mm -hmm. um, my organization wants to know what your organization is offering for help. So I know where to send these people. Half the battle is they don't even know where to go for help. I know, and many of these places don't even know others exist. So, yes. you know, um, the networking is really key, I think, it's as well. It's very important to network. So you're on Metcalf. Do you see, um, in Lima, do you see a lot of um, individuals just as you walk through the doors, as you're, you know, going back and forth to the church, people that are right there that can be helped? Oh, yes. We have noticed um, some people have said, well, I didn't even know you was a church. Well, yeah, we're right really? across the street from an elementary school and you didn't know we were as a church, parents park in our parking lot to pick up their children from school. Yes. And we've reached them even there. Oh, will you have some place I can go for help? They didn't even know. And kind of where we're located on the north end of Lima, there's not a whole lot within walking distance to get help. Mm -hmm. And uh, even internet, People take the internet service for granted today. Not everybody has an internet Not service. Yeah. So when we talk about, well, why haven't you found a job? Well, I don't have internet access and it's 10 blocks to the library with my two kids. So that's kind of what we do. If whatever is standing in the way from helping you make a better life for yourself yes. and your family, we want to eliminate it and yeah. we'll find a way. You know, you were talking about the, the can of food. You know, you give the can of food and I have talked to others who have soup kitchens that said, you give people the food, they don't even know how to cook it. Yes, and that's uh, another thing we're dealing with. We had Cooking for Change at our church um, just a few weeks ago, and they came in and taught ways how to cook cheap and nutritionally. Mm -hmm. um, and our goal is every month to have something at our church that is beneficial to the community. Yeah. In January, we are going to have a health and wellness fair. Mm -hmm. February, a job and education fair. Just keep looking, it's out there every month is something new. Yes, and I also noticed finance classes. You know, um, so many of us have never been told how to make a budget, what a budget 
actually means. You know, so um, all of the basics, you are right, we need to learn. Yes, we're getting back to the basics, financing, budgeting, home ownership. Yes. We are working with, maybe it's education. Maybe you don't have an education. Yes. Years ago, it was on the job training. Now they want you to have that training before you get there. Yeah. So GED classes, and we'll connect you to some mark management classes, whatever it is we need to do to get you where you need to be. All right. Well, Jesse, I hope that you're sleeping much better now. Oh, like and a I baby. hope you feel a lot better, too. I do. Thank you very much. Yes, and thanks for being with us. Thank you. All right, back to you, Jen.